I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us by His grace, and by the grace of God, we will make it through. I tell you, my dear friend, those who press on and refuse to give up always receive the miracle. My dear friend, are you trusting God for something today? Then persist and choose not to ever give up, and God will bless you. My dear friend, as you know, today is Monday and on Monday we share the Monday prophetic word. The Lord has given me a prophetic instruction for you. And I hope and trust and believe that even as I share this, it will bless, touch and change your life. But anyways, my dear friend, even as I was seeking God for the prophetic direction and prophetic instruction for this week, the Lord began to speak and he showed me something. He showed me that this is a season to wait on him. Those who wait on Him will not lack any good thing. My dear friend, waiting and trusting God go hand in hand. If you don't trust God, you can't wait on God. You know, my dear friend, some of the greatest spiritual achievements are not achieved by many, but few. Why? Because they are so simple that they are overlooked. As you wait on God, God will renew your strength. In this season, the key to your breakthrough is to wait on God. As you wait on God, you will see God deliver you. Even as the Lord gave me this prophetic direction, He led me to the book of Psalms, chapter 40, from verse 1 and verse 2. And I'm going to read to you from the ISV version. It says, I waited expectantly for the Lord, and He took notice of me and heard my cry. Verse 2, He plucked me out of a pit of confusion, even out of the quicksand. He placed my feet on a rock and established my steps. My dear friend, God is going to establish your steps. He is going to place you on solid ground. And wherever there's any confusion in your life, as you wait on God, God will deliver you. As you wait on God in this season, you will see doors open. You will see the breakthrough that you are trusting God for manifest. As you wait on God in this season, you will see God's power come through. I'm not talking about waiting for a certain event to happen but I'm talking about waiting on God in prayer. Certain things that need to be broken off, get broken off when you are in the presence of God. The fastest way to get into the presence of God, even faster than worship, even faster than hours and hours of prayer, is to wait silently on the Lord. This is why the Bible shows us clearly that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let's begin to praise Him. Father, You are our Lord. You are our God. Our God that we love and our God that we trust. We put our hope in You always. There is no other God like you. We thank you, Lord, that your love never runs out and your love never leaves us. Your grace never runs out on us. Lord, so many times we make mistakes. So many times we fall short. So many things we do wrong. And yet you still love us. Your presence is still with us. Lord, today, as we seek you, we come in humility and we ask you, make a way where there seems to be no way. Open up the way so that we can experience you on a deeper level. Lord, I pray, bless my dear friend. Bless and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. Lord, as we wait on you, may you receive all the praise, may you receive all the honor, may you receive all the glory, because all the glory belongs to you. All the honor belongs to you. You alone are our God, and we praise you. We lift up your name. We magnify your holy name. There is no other God like you. Today, Lord, come and touch my dear friend. This week, do great things, even as my dear friend takes heed to this prophetic instruction. As you have given this instruction and we follow it, open doors, 
open doors of blessing, open doors of favor, open doors that will take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. Oh God, we need more of you. We need more of your presence. We need more of your power. Come, oh God, and touch my dear friend today. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, it is so good to be in the presence of God. There is no better place than the presence of God. I tell you, my dear friend, one can pray for hours, hours and hours. And if he doesn't press into the presence of God, he may pray for nothing and his prayers may be ineffective. But when one prays and he gets into the presence of God, his prayers attain double the effectiveness. So today, my dear friend, and from today onwards, seek to be in the presence of God and you will be blessed. In saying that, we're going to begin to pray. I'm going to begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And even as we go into a time of prayer, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, help me to wait on you. In all I do, help me to wait on you. In times of prayer, help me to wait on you. Take me deeper, even as I wait on you, and give me revelation, fresh, new revelation. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy, your grace that enables us to wait on you, to wait in your presence, to wait on you to touch us, to wait on you to change our lives. Father, today we are hungry enough to wait on you. We need more of your presence. We need more of your power. Give us the grace that we will not just rush in prayer, but we will truly press in and connect to you. We want to know you on a deeper level. As this happens, Lord, open up doors. Open up doors of blessing for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, even as my dear friend waits on you, Give my dear friend the desire of the heart. As my dear friend waits on you, renew my dear friend's strength. Heal my dear friend in all my dear friend does, even in the area of relationships that are broken, marriages that are on the brink of divorce. Father, I pray that you'll bring families back together. Father, I pray, even as my dear friend waits on you, let my dear friend experience the miracle that my dear friend will know this can only be God. This is God. This is his power and no one else. Because I waited on God, my God has delivered me. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious and is merciful. And he has heard our prayer today and it is a done deal. May be blessed as you go on in this week. May it be a week that you will remember. May God do great and mighty things in your life, even as we go through this week. May you be blessed going in and going out. I release the same thing over your family and over your friends. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear friend, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.